Hey, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, and that's four in a row. The Knicks finally got over that hump. After going six times of three game winning streaks, we finally got that fourth win. I'm hoping we get the fifth win tomorrow night against Dallas. We do owe them. Yo, I know a lot of y'all thought the Knicks, I ain't even gonna say a lot of y'all, but not the Knicks fan. I'm talking about them haters. When I say a lot of y'all and it's going against our Knicks, Trust me, I'm not talking to the beloved Knickerbocker fans. I'm talking about some people that have been doubting us and all season long and what we do. We just prove them wrong. I know a lot of people, especially the experts on ESPN and whatever, had this peg as an easy victory for the New Orleans Pelicans, but it didn't turn out that way. The Knicks came out, you know what I'm saying? Doing, you know, Randall came out. He had an auspicious, he was one of Clyde Frazier words, Auspicious beginning, you know, he hit, he hit his first three um shots, which was three pointers. When he was coming down the drive and missing, he was making missing mid range shots, but he still was getting the ball out to his other players. His sis, like you know how his sis do. Um, he didn't get in double digits, but I think he had five. I'll get into the stats later. But like I'm saying, it was an auspicious beginning for Randall, but you see how it turned out. So that's all that matters. Um. Uh, ball was out. He wasn't playing, so I don't really. I'm not even gonna. I, don't, I know you can't really use that excuse because they still had two of the most dominant players on the team, um, Brandon Ingram and my boy Zion Williams. Well, not my boy, but you know what I mean, Zion Williams. Zion Williams seemed to have his way in the paint all night long, but when it matters, the Knicks clamped down the fourth quarter. You know, saying forcing him to take shots that he really didn't want to take. He started taking threes, which he's not really good at. And it showed, matter of fact, the Pelicans are one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the league and one of the worst defending, defending the three. And the Knicks took advantage by, of that by hitting 17 threes in that game. Like I said, Randall had three threes in the first quarter, so did Bullock. Bullock ended the game with four threes. Like I said in my last video, next year when, you know, we have to make decision about resigning certain players, I think we should keep them two guys because we need some guys like that. I don't know if we go out and get somebody different that might start and bullet come off the bench, but we need players like them two players. Even, okay, Burks. Yo, Burks came through tonight, I mean last night. The game before that with the Lakers, his defense was good, but he only scored two points. So coming out and scoring 21 points in um, 22 minutes was really... It was, it was a step up, but like I said, I don't really don't worry about Burks. Even when he having an off game, he seemed to do the right things when when it really matters and when it count. I know I said in my video, like we gonna get down to my prediction, which is halfway true. I said that my Nicodemus was gonna come out and the Knicks was gonna take this game. We did take the game, but R.J. Barrett didn't get 20 points. Matter of fact, he had a very lack lackluster game. And so much so that um, the coach set him out the whole fourth quarter. But he's still star Barrett to me. And he's still going to be that super superstar that I predict him to be. He just had an off night. Maybe it was the pressure of him going up against his old, his, his, you know, his teammate back in college. Sometimes it, it's like that. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You're watching Zion perform. It only makes you think, like, damn, whatever the Knicks would have got that first pick, what we had done for our franchise. Well, anyway, I'm going to get to the stats. You know what I'm saying? Try to get out of here real quick. Oh, yeah. Before that, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and comment. Especially like. Like is free. Subscribe is free. But if you hit the like button, it, you know, it helps this channel move through it and go a long way. Noel's was out. He's, you know, got suffering from a sore ankle. Hopefully, he'll be back against Dallas. If not, hopefully, he'll be back against Pelicans on Sunday night. So let's get to the stats, and then I'm going to get you out of here. A little lackluster tonight, and I apologize for that. But Randall, he had 32 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. He shot 11 from 26 from the field. Also going 5 from 8 from downtown, 5 free throws, and 4 turnovers. You know, it ain't cost of the game, but he really got to cut down on turnovers. Matter of fact, we had 5 Nick players in double digits. And like I said, we was a little hard on Alfred Payton. And, you know, he way better than Frank Nilakina. Y'all got, 
Yeah, I gotta admit, admit that he's way better than Frank Nilakina would be at this point because Frank shown is what we got. Although Frank's a good defensive player, that's all he is. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't do anything that's going to surprise the defense or I don't that, that's going to, you know what I'm saying, that really is going to affect the game. Um, Peyton, he had 11 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. He shot 5 from 11 from the field, going 0 from 1 from downtown. Also making one from the free throw line, playing 20 minutes, and that's not bad. That's not that's not bad. 11 points, 20 minutes. Not not to mention he got seven rebounds and four assists because his rebounds, you know, for him, it helps when them guards get the rebound. It really do help the team when the guards are able to get the rebound. But I know they're expected to get back on defense, but um, sometimes it helps them when the guards get rebound. Rose, I mean. What can I say? That trade is really um, paying off. We see who got the better end of the deal. I'm no, no disrespect to Dennis Smith Jr., but Rose came into the, came on his team and um, he's doing it as advertised. You know what I'm saying? He's shocking me. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think it was gonna be this way with Derrick Rose. I didn't know how much he had left in the tank, but he scored 11 points also, four rebounds, four assists. He shot five from 40 from the field, going one from four. I'm about to put that from one for four from downtown, one block. Actually, that block was big, almost like a replica of the block the, night, uh, the other night before against um, the LA Lakers. We caught Duo off in the corner, but he had one more block this night and two steals. He played 28 minutes. First, I was worried about his men's being played, but hey, he's getting the job done, so there's no really, I don't know. He's getting the job done. I'm glad we made that trade. Knicks is going in the right place. Uh, you know, so like I said, we won the game. I didn't mention the score, but it was 116 to 106, moving us two games over 500. We 29 and 27, currently holding a sixth place in the um, Eastern Conference. A few more games left. You know, we guarantee a, a playoff spot, but I would like for us to hold that sixth place. We get the sixth place. You know, who we would match up against. That's if they can hold their spot. It would be the Milwaukee Bucks. And this year we have that. It has been an inter, interesting series between these two teams, and I would like to see them meet in the playoffs. I know somewhere down the line we probably meet the Nets. Yeah, I'm predicting that. I know I'm. Yeah, a lot of y'all might say I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah, I'm predicting that the Knicks is going to go. We're going to go far in the, in the playoffs, even if we don't make the championship. We're going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Nicodemus. Nick Adamas, I'm telling you, we're going to be the Eastern Conference Final, and from there, anything can happen. But if we make the championship, I don't know. Because even though I said, I talked about the old Knicks making the, the playoffs being the eighth seed many years ago, we ain't the eighth seed. So that means we ain't the top dogs, but we ain't the bottom dogs. You know what I'm saying? We're not mediocre. You know what I'm saying? We're just above average. And... You never know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? You have faith. You know what I'm saying? You never know what can happen. Uh, Bullock, he had 16 points, four rebounds, two assists. He shot six from 10 from going downtown. Also hitting four, four three-pointers from, da- um, from downtown. Well, six from 10 from the field goal, excuse me. And shot four for seven from downtown. One turnover in 35 minutes. Like I keep telling you, we need the guys like Bullocks and Burks. We need them guys. We definitely need these guys. And there was a good acquisition when um, Leon Rose went out and signed these dudes. I know a lot of people was like, what? Who Who the hell is that? Because I questioned that. Actually, like, I was who, who was Burke, but then I remember that game he had against him when he played against Utah. It was a few years ago. Yo, he lit our ass on fire. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? He tore our ass up. So um, let's skip down to um, the Pelicans. Brandon, he had a decent game. He's scoring 28 points. Yo, Randall, I didn't I mean to just jump off Ingram, but I just wanted to go back to Randall. The last two games, Randall played two of his former teams, and he performed well. He's going home in Dallas. Now, he was never on Dallas, but he's from Dallas. Sometimes that plays a part when a player gets there. I don't know. They don't usually perform well. Some players, when they get home in front of the home crowd, their family, their friends, they go out and they try to do too much. But I don't think that's going to be the problem with Randall. I'm being honest with you. I'm thinking this is going to be his third game. You heard me because he did score two games. 
of 30 points. And I think he's going to have another 30 point game. I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped 42 points. I'm not predicting it. I just said I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped 42 points. Um, Brandon Ingram, he had 28 points, three rebounds, seven assists. He shot nine for 22 from the field. Hmm. That's the that's that Knicks defense. Uh, also shooting two from three, two for six from downtown, going eight from eight from the free from free throw line. He had one steal and um in 36 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Zion Williams, like I said, Zion Williams, Zion was in a, a beast in the paint. He got to work on that jump shot. You know, teams not really honoring him. They not, they're not respecting that three point shot. I mean, he do hit him on occasion. I'm not going to say that the man don't make him, but he do hit him on occasion, but not last night. Especially in the fourth quarter. I think we held him down to four baskets. He tried a couple of threes. He missed them. But like I say, he had 25 points, eight rebounds. He shot um, seven assists. He shot 10 from 19 from the field, going 0 for 2 from downtown. He shot five from eight from the free throw line, two blocks, one steal, and four turnovers. Four turnovers. <clears throat> turnovers in 35 minutes. Him and um, Randall, they was going at each other, and they had the same amount of turnovers. And um, I don't know, I'm just, yo, right now, I'm not know people think I'm getting beside myself, but I'm not because I got a feeling about this team. I just do. I got a feeling about this team. You know what I'm saying? And I think we, even if we don't win the championship, we're going to go far in the playoffs. And I know you hear MVP being hollered all over the stadium. Whenever you go to anybody, watch any game, and, and they ain't home, and you hear their crowd yelling for MVP. But I really think Julius Randle should get MVP of the season this year. Uh, especially if we go into the playoffs at number six, if we can, because we can reach number four. Now, we can go in four. It may not be number one Eastern Conference champion, but think about what he's done for his team. No player in the league other than Le- LeBron James will have done what he had done. I'm not going to say no other player because you got Steph, but I'm talking about for the Knicks right now. I'm just, let's just talk about the Knicks. And just think about that team because LeBron James ain't go to no scrub-ass team. He went to teams that was, you know, solidified, had championships, you know what I'm saying, probably had a few bad years, but they got they got players around. He didn't just go with slouchers. LeBron is great, and he can make everybody, anybody great that's around him. That is true. But we're talking about the Knicks. So let's just think about, you know, the you know the past decade, you know what I'm saying, where the Knicks been at. And we tried and went out and got player after player, and nobody seemed to do what they were supposed to do. Now we go out and get Julius Randle. And let's be honest with ourselves, a lot of people and a lot of even though he had that year we had in New Orleans before we got him, a lot of people was writing Julius off. They were saying that that was a fluke year. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he wasn't doing nothing in between that. Like, he wasn't having them big stats, but he was playing with Anthony Davis. He had to play Robin, you know what I'm saying, to a Batman. But when Anthony Davis left, look what he did. And the Pelicans only gave him up because, you know, they knew who they was getting and everything. They didn't think. Now, imagine they would have kept him. That position, I don't know, for him and Zion, but we got him. And he's he's coming into his own. You know, just think about when Randall came out of college. You know what I'm saying? The projection of his, you know, his game or whatever. The Knicks stepped in something for for stepped in something and got it right, you know what I'm saying? They stepped in something, and for once, we're not wiping the bottom of my shoe. You know what I'm saying? We stepped in something, and we're happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Julius Randle, the first year, it was a shaky and rough year. But, you know what I'm saying? We got one more year with him. So, we're going to see. We're really going to see, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the Pelicans had help from Marshall. He chipped in 14 points. Johnson, another 13, and um, Steve Adams with 10. But when it came to the fourth quarter, the Pelicans looked at loss. I mean, they was putting up a fight. They made their runs, but every time they made a push, the Knicks would just do something. The Knicks, it was Julius, and it was um, Alec Burks. And they, Burks had a Tommy three. Um, Julius Randle had a couple of free throws, a nice fade away. It just was all falling, you know what I'm saying, together in the fourth quarter. And... 
Don't sleep on the Knicks. That's all I'm going to say. Don't sleep on this team. Do not sleep on this team. We got a lot of underrated players. We got a lot of players that's actually been in the playoffs, that's experienced. You know what I'm saying? Nobody with the ring that I can think of at this moment. But we have players that have been in certain situations. We have players that have been superstar and of, of this league that have been Derrick Rose at once, you know what I'm saying, before James came and took over or whatever. Derrick Rose was, you know, a well, well-respected player in this league, you know what I'm saying, considered a superstar among many. So we have players like that. He don't have the same game that he used to have, but he still have the same mind. He still, you know what I'm saying, he's still a good player, and he show you when he drive and he catch them off step and them little step backs and fadeaways. Derrick Rose, he don't got the dunking, but he still got the dashing and whatever you want to call it, he still got it, you know what I'm saying? He just that not the level that I wish he would have had when we, when we played for Chicago Bulls. Um, yeah, did I mention the Knicks hit 17 threes in that game? And uh, when the season started, the Knicks was one of the worst shooting team, shooting one of the worst shooting three teams and three pointers. Now we rank somewhere in seventh. I mean, Timberwolves, Super coach and turned this team around in many ways, many ways, more than one. You know what I'm saying? Our defense, you know what I'm saying? We only giving up like 109, 106 points to a game. Now we're averaging, I think, 112, maybe to 115 points per game. So if you look at them stats and we play the way we're supposed to play, we should be winning more games than that we have won. But let's be realistic, we just start moving in these stats, but we should be winning more games coming ahead. So I'm not really worried about the games coming. I know the Pelicans going to be looking for their revenge Sunday night. But first thing first, we got Dallas. And I think we're going to take this game. I think we're going to make it to number five. And I don't know when the last time the Knicks been on a 10-game winning streak. But I know it wasn't not too long ago. <laughs> I'm joking. But, um... I feel that, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. If the Knicks, if the Knicks was going a seven-game win streak, I can hear Stephen A. I can hear uh, his punk ass sidekick. I can hear everybody just start talking about, and they will, you know what I'm saying, talk about Ted, and rightfully so, the man will be doing the credit. But it's the players. It's the players, it's the coach, it's the team. And that's why I want to say I feel different about this team. I feel confident in this team. I know I'm not saying we're going to win a championship, but I am saying that we're going to the Eastern Conference. We're going to the Eastern Conference game. We're going to the third round of playoffs. And when we get there, we're going to let the cars fall and see what happens. With that being said, like I always say to the people out there, I want y'all to say stay, stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace.